from the charger, it freezes up all the Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the American Family Friends Dream Bank page, where we believe in the transformative power of dreams and are committed to helping you pursue yours. I'm Kriterica Pierce, and today I have the honor of welcoming yoga instructor Brittany for today's Lunchtime Yoga. Um, Brittany has been teaching for about three years now and is always learning from students, fellow teachers, and so many books. Brittany's favorite aspect of teaching is being able to hold a safe space for people to explore into themselves and get curious with, to what is um, going on physically and emotionally around them. Please take these next 45 minutes to celebrate you. Okay. Hi, everybody. Happy uh, Friday. Oh, my goodness. Um, I almost forgot what day it was. It's been a while since I've been able to share space with you, so it's really nice to um, be with you all again. And today we are going to um, take care of our entire body, obviously, but um, focus more around our heart space and kind of get into open it up through the heart, open up through the collarbones and the shoulders. Um, we're starting to get into some chillier weather, so our shoulders tend to kind of round forward as we try to conserve heat. So just kind of bringing in some space around there. So to get started, join me in a comfortable seat. So you can sit how I am with the legs crossed. Maybe it feels better to have the legs out in front of you. That's cool too. And if today a comfortable seat means starting on your back, Go ahead, start on your back, you know, find a place that works right for you and right now. And if it takes a minute to find it, can you, as you kind of check out your options, that's okay too. It takes a little bit to settle in, especially midday. And if you're seated, let your hands be heavy on your knees. Wiggle your sit bones a little bit more into the ground. Lift up through the crown of your head so you feel some length in your spine. And then go ahead, let your eyes close if that feels comfortable, or maybe let your gaze go blurry to the ground. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open up your mouth, let go, big sigh out. Starting to settle into your practice. Bring some awareness to your elbows. Let them feel like bricks being heavy towards the ground. And the heaviness in the elbows will allow the shoulders to naturally relax down your back. Starting to feel into your breath and notice your inhale. And notice your exhale. Let your breath be very natural here. Don't feel like you need to be taking the biggest breaths possible or anything like that. Just simply notice your breath. And we'll have an opportunity to take those big yoga breaths in a little bit. Feeling the inhale come through your nose. And out the nose. Good. Now bring one hand to your heart and the other one right on top of your navel. Continue to root your sit bones into the ground. Lift up through the crown of the head so you create some space within the torso. And now just start to take those big yogic breaths into your palms. So feel the inhale. Rise the hands up. And then exhale. The exhale falls. The palms sink a little bit deeper into your skin. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, feel the belly puff into your palms. Heart swells, big expansive breath. 
and let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Take three more here. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Last one here with the palms. Inhale, press in, fill up. Exhale, give it away. Let your hands come back down towards the knees. We're going to take some seated cows and cats. So if you're on your back, start to make your way to your seat. If you have your legs out, fold them in. Let your hands come to the knees. And with your inhale, you're going to uh, reach the heart forward, round or flexing in the spine, pull in the heart forward. Maybe the chin goes up. Exhale, pull the navel into your spine, bring the shoulders forward, round your back, just like you would for a cat. Inhale, pull into the knees, reach the heart forward, maybe lift your throat to be exposed. Exhale, round your spine. Continue here with your breath. And these shapes might be a little bit smaller, right? Or maybe they're a little bit bigger. You choose, listening in, whatever feels right for you. We'll take three more, inhale. Heart comes forward into your seated cow pose, lift up the chin. Exhale, round your spine, seated cat pose. Inhale, heart comes forward. And exhale, coil and pull yourself into a little ball. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come back up to neutral. Now we're gonna start to take big uh, or small torso circles. So you're gonna start to rotate yourself to the right. So you're bringing in those cows and cats, but also drawing a big circle. So sit bones are relatively stable into the ground. And letting your upper body draw these circles into the right. So again, maybe they're a little bit smaller, right? Staying in close. Maybe you feel like being big and expansive and you're leaning back and forward and to the side as far as you can. You can get the head involved, the shoulders involved. You might close your eyes, let your body be free here. Okay, two more circles here. Last circle to the right. And now pause, start to draw this circle to the left. So working in the opposite direction that you were just going. Again, the circles can be small or they can be big. They can be weird. You can get your shoulders involved, your neck involved, whatever feels right for you. Just bringing some mobility to the spine and to the upper body. Good, two more circles in this direction. Last circle here, working to the left. And then spiral yourself back to center. Go ahead, bring the soles of the feet together. And then grab a hold of your feet like you're holding onto a book. Press through the sit bones, reach up through the crown of your head, take an inhale. And then with your exhale, hang from your hips, you can bring your elbows onto the shins, lead with the heart, finding a bound angle pose. So notice how I'm not 
rounding over. I'm leaning my heart forward and thinking about hinging like a clamshell from the hip. If you'd like, you can walk your hands out. You can even tint the fingertips, let the head drop. Breathe all the way down to your kidneys if you can. One more inhale. With your exhale, start to walk your hands back in. Bring the legs back up together. Straighten out the legs, flex the feet, spread the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. With your exhale, again, lead with the heart, hinge from the hips, find a nice forward fold over the legs. Doesn't have to be a big forward fold. You can let your hands be down by your sides. Just find a little opening along the backs of the legs here. Good. Come on up. Bend at the knees, scoot your hips forward a little bit and come onto your back, hugging the knees up into your chest. You can give yourself a little rock from side to side. And then go ahead, reach through the knees, grab a hold of the big toes or edges of the feet. Take this into a happy baby. Letting the knees sink down to the ground. Good. Bring the knees together. Keep a hug around your right knee. Extend the left leg out long. Take a big breath in. And with your exhale, draw your right knee across your body. Roll onto your left hip as much as you'd like. Open up your arms to a T to find a twist here. So letting the shoulders be heavy to the ground. Big breaths all the way down to your belly. Inhale, come back through center. Hug both knees up into your chest. Nice rock from side to side. Keep a hug around your left knee this time. Right leg goes out long in front of you. Take a big inhale. And exhale, drawing me across your body. Really roll onto your right side as much as you'd like. And then take your arms out wide into a T. Your gaze can drift over your left shoulder if you wish. Breathe all the way down to your belly. Shoulders are soft to the ground. Good. 
Good, one more inhale. Exhale, come back through center, give your knees back into a little hug. Rock and roll from side to side. Massaging out your back. And then roll over to your right or to your left side. Use the strength of your hands to make your way into um, your down dog. So you can start in a tabletop, curl the toes under, then send the hips up high. Once your heel, pedal up the heels, sway the hips. Feel yourself here in this downward facing dog. Notice what sensations are coming up, if there's any areas of stickiness or tension. Tune it into that. Find stillness in your down dog. Seal your lips. Take a big inhale through the nose. And then open up your mouth like a big cleansing sigh out. You can make some sound if you'd like. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Let go big cleansing sigh out. Next inhale, bend into your knees. Look forward. With your exhale, travel up to the top of your mat. Inhale, hands to your shins, press and lift up the heart halfway. Exhale and fold. Two more times like that. Inhale, press into the shins, pull the heart up halfway. Exhale, release it down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, deep bend into the knees, grab a hold of opposite elbows, lift your sit bones up to the sky, find a rag doll. So you can bend your knees a lot here, letting the belly rest onto the thighs. Let your upper body be heavy, loose, and free. Just kind of swaying here. One more breath. Exhale, release it. And then inhale, press through the feet. Rise on up, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, hands um, to your navel, into your belly. Come back my mat up a little bit so you can see me while we're standing. Good. So hand on heart, hand on belly. Come back to your breath and notice how it feels. Notice if it's changed at all, if it feels a little different from when we first started our practice together. Good, release your hands down by your sides. Fan out the toes, press your feet into the ground so you feel really, really rooted here. And then inhale, sweep your fingertips up to the sky. With your exhale, bend the elbows nice and wide. Squeeze shoulder blades together, lift up your heart. So you're taking a standing back bend here. Pull the low belly up and in. Keep pressing your feet into the ground, lifting your heart up to the sky. Open up through the collarbones. One more breath in. Exhale, bend into the knees, break out the waist, come back into a forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fingertips to the ground. Send your left leg back and lower the knee down, finding an Anjane Asana low lunge. Tend your fingertips on the ground. Dig in and then pull your heart forward so you're feeling a lift in the back of the heart. Breathe around your heart. Feel it swell with each inhale and each exhale. One more breath in. With your exhale, bring one hand to the right knee and then the other. So we're rising on up. Take a moment to get grounded here. So press through the right foot, 
as well as get strong and sturdy through the back left knee. Pull the navel up and in. So you're feeling your front hip bones lift up, tailbone sinks down. And then when you feel nice and balanced, go ahead, bring your arms up to the sky. Reach up through the crown of your head. Take a few breaths here. Keep sending the energy down through both legs. Nice and strong in your base. All right, we're gonna take this into a twist. So take a breath in. With your exhale, your left arm will come forward, right arm behind you. You're twisting over to the right. So you're staying upright. Right hip draws back in space. Spread the fingers wide, reach in opposite directions. So we're getting into our sti sticky thoracic spine here. Good, inhale, sweep your arms back up through center. With your exhale, set the fingertips down, straighten through the right leg, sending your hips back, finding a half split. So lead with the heart coming forward. Right foot is active, flex it, spread the toes, press your heel into the ground. Feeling a stretch along the back of the right leg. Last inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come forward, plant your palms right underneath, underneath your shoulder, and then slide your right knee underneath your hip so you're in tabletop. Take three rounds of cows and cats here. Inhale, belly drops down. Exhale, press into the ground, round your spine, cat pose. Inhale, belly down, cow pose. Exhale, coil into yourself, cat. One more time here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come back to your neutral, curl the toes under, use your exhale to journey your way back into your downward facing dog. If you're craving any of those wiggles and shakes, you know what to do, go ahead, take them. I'm a big, big fan of kind of shaking things out whenever there's a moment to do so. Good, find stillness. Take a big inhale through the nose, feel the rib cage expand. And exhale, let it go with a big sigh out. Inhale, bend into the knees, look forward. With your exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Hands to shins, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, press through the feet, rise on up, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart, and then one on the navel. One stays on your heart, peel back into your breath. Notice how it feels. Let your hands drop down by your sides. We'll take that standing back bend again. So spread out the toes, press your feet into the ground, get nice and rooted here. You can even keep a little bend into the knees. Pull your navel up and in. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, elbows come down and wide squeeze, shoulder blades together. Press the shoulder blades into the back of the heart to lift up. Maybe your chin stays a little bit closer to your chest, or maybe you start to lift it up, bringing your gaze up to the sky. Core is strong here. Navel pulls up and in. 
This will protect your low back. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, bend into the knees, break at the wrist, give it away and fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fingertips come to the ground. This time your right leg will go back. Drop the knee down. Tent up the fingertips, press into the ground, pull your heart forward. Let the hips sink forward and down. Now start to break one hand and then the other on top of the left knee. Get rooted here. So pressure down through the left foot. Stable in the back knee. Core lifts up and in, pulling that navel in. Once you're stable, go ahead, sweep the fingertips up to the sky. Get nice and long here. Lift up through the crown of your head. And we'll add in that twist. Take an inhale. With your exhale, right hand comes forward, left arm behind, taking this upright twist to the left. Core strong, pulling up and in, fingers spread wide, reach in opposite directions. Pull the left hip back in space. Good, inhale, come back forward. With your exhale, fingertips come to the ground, straighten the left leg, finding a half split here. Hips reach back behind, heart reaching forward, keeping that length in the spine. Left foot is active, flex the foot, spread the toes. I always wanna say flex the toes and spread the foot, which doesn't make any sense. So we'd like to flex the foot, then spread the toes, press the heel into the ground. One more inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, come back forward. Plant the palm, slide the left knee underneath the hip. Coming into tabletop, three rounds of cows and cats. Inhale, belly comes down. Exhale, round your spine, find cat pose. Inhale to your cow. Exhale, cat pose. One more time, inhale. And exhale. All right, come back through neutral. Bring your hands one palm print forward. And then start to straighten the legs back behind you. Shoulders come over the wrists. We're in plank pose. You can always drop the knees down if you wish. Hands are active, push down into the ground, feel that puff up in between the shoulder blades. Notice your breath here. Has it gotten a little shaky? Maybe it's a little short. If you can, take those big inhales through your nose. Smooth exhales out the mouth or out the nose. Good, two more, inhale, exhale, last big inhale, 
Exhale, lower the knees, come all the way down to your belly. We're going to set up for a Sphinx pose. You can bring your feet about hips width distance apart. Press through the tops of the feet and then slide your forearms forward. So they're going to be um, shoulders with distance apart. So you can grab a hold of opposite elbows to kind of help find your shoulder distance. And then release the forehands to the ground. Spread the fingers. Imagine you've got claws coming out of your fingertips. Dig those into the ground. Backs of the feet or tops of the feet are like breaks. Press in. Fingertips dig in, pull your heart forward. Yeah, lift your chin up off your chest. Don't have the head dropping back, but have your gaze straight ahead. So your chin's relatively parallel to the ground. Let your shoulder blades fall down your back. Notice if your shoulders want to come up by your ears. If they want to, press your forearms into the ground. Grow your neck tall. One more inhale. Exhale, let your elbows come out wide. Make a pillow with your hands. You can release a cheek down to the ground. Kick your heels up and let them swish from side to side. And let the feet come down. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Press up to your knees. And then we'll sink back into a child's pose. So bring the knees out wide. Big toes come together. Sit bones reach towards your heels. Walk your hands out long in front of you. Let your heart come down to the ground. Let your spine be long here. You can even rock your forehead from side to side, massaging your third eye. All right, from here, We'll take a side body stretch. So keep letting the sit bones be heavy to the heels. And then start to walk your hands over to the top right corner of your mat. So you're feeling a stretch along your left side body. Particularly, let the left sit bone be a little bit heavier. Good. Come back forward or to center and then bring your hands over to the top left corner. Reach out long, right sit bone heavy towards the heels. Feel this stretch in the right side body. Come back through center, walk your hands in, and you're going to rise up onto your knees. So our last kind of strong expression while we're together is camel pose. 
It's a big, big, big heart opener. I always tell my students that it's like cracking your vulnerability nut wide open. Because, you know, you're exposing your heart, you're exposing your stomach and all this area that are like vital organs, right? Um, and we naturally want to protect those. Um, and the other reason why I love this shape is especially during colder months, it just lets us to get really big and expansive after kind of curling up. It's so weird that it's like end of September and we're talking about cold, right? It went by really, really fast. So as always this, we live in Wisconsin. Um, okay. To set up for camel pose, you're going to come up onto your knees and curl your toes under, as you can see I have here. This is gonna help you get nice and rooted into the legs. Lift your front sit bones up. You'll feel the tailbone drop down. Navel pulls up into your spine, so core is engaged here. And then inhale, sweep your fingertips up to the sky. Get nice and tall and long, and then with your exhale, elbows come down and wide, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift up your heart. So it's just like our standing back bend that we were doing earlier, right? We're squeezing the shoulder blades, lifting up the heart, creating that curve in the spine. So you can stay here, or if you'd like, you can take your left hand, reach towards your heel, sweep the right arm up. So taking a half camel pose. Keep pulling navel to spine, strong core. If you're taking the half camel pose with me, inhale, left arm comes up. Exhale, right arm comes to the heel. Left arm keeps reaching up. Good, if you're with me, inhale, arm reaches up. Exhale, sit back onto your heels. You can uncurl your toes. Bring one hand back to your navel, one back to your heart. Feel your breath here. Notice if anything has shifted or changed. Camel pose, it's a big, big, big heart opener. It might have shaken some things loose. So just notice that in this quiet moment. Let your hands fall down by your sides. Keep the knees together. Fold yourself over, coming into an embryo pose. You're just folding over your thighs, letting your forehead come down. Breathe into your back body. Slide the arms forward, coming underneath the shoulders. You're gonna make your way back into a tabletop. Extend the right leg behind you. Cross it over to the left, press into the ball of the heel, or, or press into the ball of your foot, reach through your heel. Take a peek over your left shoulder. Feel a little stretch here. Come back through center, switch it out so that the left leg goes back behind you. Cross it over to the right, press through that ball of the foot, reach through the heel. Take a peek over your right shoulder this time. Good, come back through center. Set your hips off to the side, giving yourself space to swing the legs around. Start to make your way onto your back. Hug your 
knees into your chest, nice rock from side to side. Knees in the ground to massage out your back and your spine and your low back. Bring your arms out to a T. Make a 90 degree bend with the knees. And then scoot your hips over to the left. Let your knees fall over to the right, taking a twist here. Good. Bring the knees back up through center. And now scoot your hips over to the right, having that 90 degree bend with the legs. And then let the legs fall over to the left, taking a twist over to the other side. Two more breaths here with this twist on this side. Gently come back out. Walk your soles of the feet to the outside edges of your mat. Knees are up to the sky. And swish your legs nice and slow from side to side like a windshield wiper. Wiggling out any last bit of stickiness or tension. Pass through each side one last time. Now when you're ready, extend the legs out long in front of you, letting the feet flop open, arms drift down by your sides. Arriving here in your final resting pose, Shavasana. Might even channel your inner hug, my dog that's on the couch right here. Being nice and comfy and serene. She's like that for 18 hours of the day, so we could all use a little bit of that. Let yourself drift away for this last minute of stillness. Bring one hand to your navel, one hand to your heart. 
Take a big inhale and feel the breath connect into your palms. And feel the hands soften down with the exhale. Do that a couple more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And let yourself go through some wiggles of the fingers and toes. Might rock the head from side to side, circle out the wrists and the ankles. And then roll over to your right or to your left side. Use the strength of your arms to press your way on up to a comfortable seat. Connect your palms together, press your heart, press your thumbs into your heart to feel your beat. Thank you all so much for sharing in this 45 minutes of practice together. I honor it deeply and offer it right back. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you so much, Brittany, for being here this Friday to give us such a calming and relaxing um, session today. Thank you, everyone who joined us today. For more of our Dream Bank Madison Facebook events, please check out our Dream Bank Madison Facebook page. Bye, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.